I like how there's like ancient Homer Simpson staring very concernedly at the back of her chair. Do you oh, see that? Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was actually part of their whiteboard scribbles. Probably. Uh, there's the hang on kitty thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's gonna be cute. All right. Well, uh. Yeah, but what I did find frustrating about the old. Oh. I can't believe it. I let the suspect S X escape. Yeah, you gotta I be. To, I was about to say escape. You gotta be quick on the ball with those, cause this ain't. Uh... It goes by really fast. Yeah. We do have profiles. Uh, it doesn't show his full size though. A mysterious person with a cloak and mask infiltrated rift and stole a metal catalyst. Suspect X opened a portal from the Thunderdome, and Thunder a Reptarian Dome. henchman. And use Guptonian goo. Get Polister. My best oh. friend. Oh, this is written in her voice. Then. Oh, I guess I'll let you do it. Skip Hollister is my best friend, a trustworthy partner in our missions for Rift. Yep, he's the one that betrayed us. Skip comes from a market planet that has lo was wait, has long known interdimensional travel. It's one of the worlds that Rift applies fewer restrictions to, an earth full of people from different dimensions. Oh, that's interesting. Mm, a likely candidate. Dr. Sam Squatch, PhD is the director of Rift Science, Physics, and Engineering Research Division, Sphere. Sam hails from a dimension rumored to have been one of the first to develop interdimensional travel. His kind are known to make brief appearances in other worlds, leaving behind only their footprints. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Freya Granalva. Dr. Freya Granalva is Rift's lead metabiologist, an expert on life forms from a variety of dimensions. Freya is a green elf from Dagrheim, or Daggerheim? How, how would you pronounce that, knowing your kind of like Scandinavian Norse? Are you profiling me? No, no. It I would don't be know. like Dagrheim. I don't know. Well, I mean, I know that, I know that Heim. I, okay, insert three rocks into your mouth, gargle, and then say it, and then it'll be good. <laughs> Because it's like dag rhyme. Oh, it's pro dag it, it's dra probably dag Daggerheim. Daggerheim would probably be dogger. Like, but you'd probably have to pronounce the gr in swift succession, like mm -hmm. Daggerheim. Yeah, probably. A world covered in mysterious mists and changing ge geography. She cares deeply about protecting the environment and life from each world. Valerie Wiseheart is our commissioner the one who assigns missions. Valerie's Earth is ocean covered with no land masses. Species such as merfolk, sea camels, angler fishers, wait, angler fishers as opposed to angler fish, and the evil dolphin empire inhabit it. I like these little lore tidbits, don't you? <laughs> they are kind of <laughs> the, goofy. The evil dolphin empire. Dash Sterling is a former Rift agent who now occupies a ma managing position as ass assistant director. Dash is originally from an Earth not unlike mine, but less developed. Technology such as digital electronics hasn't been discovered yet. So he's a caveman. <laughs> okay, we don't need to read. But l l look at the symbol on that wrench. Doesn't it look like the Goron Ruby? Oh yeah, kinda. But it's probably a... Uh, it's probably dinosaur, a claw or a fit dinosaur foot footprint. or something. Okay. Glad to see you're okay. You fought some of the intruders, right? Did they drop any clues we could use to identify them? Oh. All right. Wrench. Ah, this wrench isn't from Rift. This symbol isn't ours, but I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. One of those dinosaur-like intruders dropped it. They seem to be working for Suspect X. Maybe they're reptarians. Oh, right! I recently saw the symbol on the files for the Ripjaw Gang. The Ripjaw Gang. Reptarians. The Ripjaw Gang. Reptaria is an Earth where dinosaurs never went extinct and developed an amazing civilization. That is, until a couple centuries back when a cataclysm turned their entire world into a barren wasteland where nothing grows. <gasps> He's pretty cool looking. He's really cool looking. Most Reptarians now live in small communities that trade their limited resources, but gangs ruled by warlords such as Ripjaw raid them ruthlessly. What's more, there are suspicions that Ripjaw has been smuggling tech from other dimensions. 
but we still haven't found proof of this. Man, that guy looks awesome. If the masked intruder is gathering allies in Reptaria, let's add it to your target destinations in the investigation, Zara. You're the best, Skip. We're going to crack this case in no time. Oh, and that's the only thing. Okay, so we've got Oh, we got can't a... show him anything else? Yeah. Show item. Oh, because we showed him the right clue. Why don't we show her the goo? goo? Yeah, she would know goo. about stuff. Where did you find this absorbing goo, Zara? Have you been to Gootopia lately? I've never been there, Dr. Freya. Isn't that where you've been doing your research? What do you know about this absorbing goo? It's a very common substance that occurs naturally in the swampy areas of Gootopia. This goo is an unparalleled insulator. We often use it to transport highly dangerous materials. Even a bomb can be rendered harmless if dumped on in this substance. We use it a lot at our research stations on Gootopia, but those stations have been under attack by unnatural monsters of late. Interesting. The intruders could have used this to hold the stolen metacatalyst. Apparently, it's really hot, so that would make sense. That would be the best way to transport a metacatalyst, Zara. This suspe Suspect X knows their stuff. Thanks for your insight, Dr. Freya. <laughs> Show item. Oh, you found some dimensionite. Great, let me analyze it so that I can isolate its dimensional footprint. Ah, uh, it seems like this portal is open from Earth JPN 160 Alpha, most commonly known as the Thunderdrome. The Thunderdrome is a world ruled by robots. They overthrew the humans that created them and took over the Air Earth. Then they turned the Thunderdrome into a pleasure palace for tourists from other realities. But a robot called Hancho, chairman of the clan Tomekia, is believed to have an iron grip on everything going on in the Thunderdrome. He looks a lot like Ryo from uh, Shaman King. <laughs> Wooden Sword Ryo. What or the Ryu? hell is that face? Uh. One of our best agents is currently investigating Hancho. We think he's bribing rift agents that turn a blind eye to unregulated interdimensional travel. Ah, it might be worth heading to the Thunderdome and paying Hancho a visit. He'd easily be connected to this. It's Thunderdome. You keep saying drome. That's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sounds like a good lead. Thanks for the info, Sam. Yeah, I wonder how much, like, open exploration they're going to do with us in this. We'll I, go I up bet for we're going to go to each of those planets. Well, yeah, absolutely. And we can do nothing at either of these. Uh, we're absolutely going to each one of those. I'm just curious, like, you know, how many more cases we're actually going to be, like, wandering around trying to solve it? We or if it's to, mainly going to be self-explanatory? We might have to do a number of smaller cases and fetch quests before we get to the big bads. Maybe. I guess whenever I run into, like, a detection... Uh, like detection. A de a detective. Sorry, a de detective case-solving system like this in a game, it's always just like, yeah, here's, like, the five NPCs you ask these questions about, and it's pretty obvious who you give it to. And I'm like, no, make me think harder about this. Well, I remember in the Nancy Drew games, you could actually show every object to everyone, and they would, some of them would have useful insight, regardless of whether or not they're the key person, but yeah. other ones would have no clue about it. Okay. All right. So you're just gonna yep. give her the information, your case file? I see you've gathered some clues and identified their origin. Utopia, Reptaria, and the Thunderdome. Three seemingly unrelated Earths. It looks like Suspect X gathered allies in Reptaria, made use of a substance from Gootopia, and traveled through the Thunderdome. Each of those Earths have links that might be related to the case. Ripjaw's smuggling, Ancho's bribing rift agents, the anomalies in Gootopia. Well, Sinclair, I say you already have some good leads for the investigation. The case is in your hands now. I'll send you the files on those three Earths and have you cleared to access them. Can I have Skip as my comm operator as usual? Yes. 
but be careful. I know Hollister's your friend, but trust no one. I know I can trust you, as we were in the same room. The same goes for Dash. Don't worry. Skip is trustworthy. Is there anything else I should do? No, before I head out? First, Dr. Squatch said the metacatalyst that Suspect X stole could be weaponized. So we must expect the worst and act swiftly. I've gathered a list of all the Rift employees who were in the area when the incursion happened. All of them should be in your case log. If you can collect enough evidence from the different worlds, I can issue a warrant for the arrest of whoever is behind those crimes, and we can bring them in for questioning. Oh hey, there's the cat girl. We didn't have to talk with her before. Oh no. She's really gonna do the cat voice. Cat pawns. It's impossible that the outsider broke through my security systems. It must have been someone from Rift. Impossible. So she's a New Yorker cat with... Oh, I know. My grandmother and my aunt would definitely go and pois. I'll be in radio contact with you during the missions. If you have any questions, just ask. I don't really know if there's much of a reason to talk to every single character. Hi, Sam. Is the portal ready? You arrived just in time. I set up the computer to authorize your access to Reptaria, Gootopia, and the Thunderdome. As per Wisehart's request, I've already pre-selected target areas for each of those Earths. In Reptaria, a factory that Ripjaw's gang uses as a base, a canyon that they use to move stolen supplies, and a scrapyard where the deserter may have found information for us. In Gootopia, there's a swamp full of mutated monsters, a cave with dimensional anomalies, and a goofy infested lab where we lost some valuable formulas. In the Thunderdome, you'll rendezvous with Agent Pineapple and with an informant, Funky. We're also planning a stealth mission into the Hancho's palaces. One of Hancho's palaces. You're getting tired. Uh, it's, his voice makes me lightheaded. Oh, the nerdy voice? Yeah. Oh, no. Is it's it fine. because you... I, I suppose you do make your voice higher pitched for that. Yeah. Good work, Sam. I'll check those areas out. Hopefully I'll find some clues to figure out who took the Metacatalyst and why. Be careful out there. These locations all seem quite dangerous. So, it looks like you can venture to them in any order you please. Mm. So, what else do you have to say? Well, what are you working on, Sam? Some cool new dimensional tech? Yeah, I'm onto something very exciting. I'm analyzing some interdimensional anomalies in the re residual radiation that extraverse portals leave behind after being closed. Oh, yeah? If I can synchronize the radiation signatures with some temporal interpo interpolation, I should be able to map a chronology to Suspect X's travels. It's fascinating. Would you like to see? Uh, maybe another time. Sam, gotta go. I'm what does plant guy have bit. to say? Probably nothing. No? Sarge, this is a lot of protein. Oh, sorry. I didn't see her thing up there. Yep. Hi, Sarge. Hey, Sinclair. Uh, can I talk to you about something for a minute? Something secret? Uh, of course, Sarge. You can tell me anything. You promise you won't tell anyone? Oh boy, this is so embarrassing. Well, I've grown too big. My muscles have grown so huge from lifting that I can't fit through any doors. I can't go back to my office or anywhere else. I'm stuck at the gym forever. Please don't tell anyone, but can you figure out a solution to this? Uh, if you can figure out a solution to this, you gotta let me know. I was gonna say... You can always stop weightlifting and wait until your muscle mass diminishes, but... Uh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> or go sideways. That worked for me when I cosplayed as Samus at a local anime convention. What sideways? <laughs> we have two dimensions he here. Up and down. And then I guess sideways. But that's always. I can't do it. I don't fit. But no, really. I've, I've had that issue. I had shoulders so massive yep. with the exosuit that I had to go through doorways sideways. It was a problem. 
Yikes. I'm on it, Sarge. Let's see what I can find. And it better not be clippers or pruners or... Uh, that <laughs> Just would be... cut off his arms. <laughs> oh, yeah. He is ridiculously large, though. I don't think going sideways is going to help this guy. Oh, so it's a, more of a problem of he needed to actually crawl through? Yeah, diagonally, even through a door opening, it wouldn't work. Hmm. Yeah, no, he might actually just have too much mass. Well, that's the thing. If he's a plant person, isn't it possible for him to grow in unconventional ways? If you know what I mean. Not that kind of growth. I think I know what you mean. No. Hi, Helena. <laughs> Everything in order around here? <laughs> I and just realized like... the armament she's packing. <laughs> Several swords, a magic staff, arrows. arrows, a rocket launcher, a mega buster. Greetings, Lady Zara. Not a soul has ever caused trouble on my watch, and none ever will. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I was just asking how you're doing. Upholding my oath, Lady Zara. You should know that. And asking about you... How was your weekend? It's small talk. Oh, I'll apologize. Even after all this time, the customs of your worlds elude me sometimes. My weekend was fine. I've been training with some of these weapons. I like to collect them from other worlds and train to be proficient with all of them. Your own mastery with the Proton Slinger is impressive. I hope someday you teach me some of your techniques, Lady Zara. Well, usually I just fall into the laser pit like four times, then eventually I get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. And you teach me how to swing one of those broadswords. It'd be great if you just like unlocked a weapon. Talking to her, and it's like, by the way, here is a broadsword. I have a spare. All right, who else do we have up here? I don't know. This Place is... is a little bit more considerable than I thought. Oh, hey, Sterling. Hello, Director Sterling. Hi, Zara. You can just call me Dash. And it's Assistant Director anyway. Oh, true. You were promoted recently, right? What is it that an Assistant Director of Rift does exactly? Office work mostly. There's more bureaucracy at, at such a big and important organization that I would have imagined at your age. You used to be an agent, though. In the academy, the pro... Wait, the profs? The profs? Yeah, how do professors. You, how do you say professors, but... Profs. Profs? Yeah. I've never heard that used. The profs talked about you all the time. An example to follow for all recruits. That's what they said. <laughs> That's a bit exaggerated, yes. I was an agent like you, and it was great. But there's important work to be done here as well. See that pile of paperwork? It's encoded reports from cover agents, research stations, portal scouts. I have to go through them, and, and then there's that station management, controlling the permission levels, making sure the core and other essential parts are checked regularly. Well, it's kind of boring, but necessary. Gotcha. I'll let you get back to it. See ya! Don't leave me. <laughs> oh yeah, this lady. Ah, good morning, Director. Hmm. Hmm, Sinclair, is it? It's 3 p.m. Don't good morning me. Uh, sorry. Didn't notice. I see you have free time on your hands. Have you already figured out who invaded our installations? Uh, actually, not yet. Then what are you doing here? Waiting for me to solve it for you? Go back to work, or I'll find you a different assignment. Yes, ma'am. What a waste of time. Alright. Any more NPCs? Wait, wait, wait. Was that Thanos' gauntlet? Sinclair, the station core is a restricted area and unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in. Yep, that's the Infinity Gauntlet. Except it doesn't seem to have all it's the It's only got one stuff. of the stones. Ah, oh, I, I wish the dialogue would... Wow, Dash, your job really involves a lot of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Hollister has something to say. Hi, Skip. What's going on? 
Oh, nothing. Just making a list of the figures I'm missing from my collection. Oh, all those toys you've got in your office. They're cool. They're not toys. They're action figures, okay? Collectibles. They're extremely valuable. Yeah, collectibles. My bad, Skip. So, see what the next mission? Uh, of course. Unless it's a specialized mission that needs someone else's expertise. I'm your com ops. Oh, oh wait. She does more. Have... I should walk around and talk to the other members. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Hello, Dr. Freya. Hello, Zara. I hope my knowledge about Gutopian substances was helpful in your investigation. Oh, yes, it was. Now Gutopia is one of the destinations for my mission. So, thank you. Is there anything else you know about Gutopia? As you know, I direct some of the Sphere research stations there. Gutopia's ecology and resources are marvelous. I wish we didn't mind so much goo for our own purposes at Rift. It's a delicate ecosystem and should be protected. Do you think the mining operations might have something to do with the anomalies found there? The abandoned labs and all that stuff? It's possible, Zara. If you find anything strange at Gutopia, I'll be happy to help you with it. The first, like, two episodes of this series are straight up going to be us just walking around talking to literally every human being or inhuman being <laughs> uh, in the area, teasing oh. that portal over and over again as we realize there's yet more dialogue for us. My desk, maps of the Earth, and mission, and a pile of pending paperwork. So this is her desk, and this and is And that's skipped. his. Oh, we can interact with it. Oh. Examine. These are maps of areas I'm investigating Gutopia, Reptaria, and the Thunderdome. I'm just going to be reminded of Mad Max beyond Thunderdome. Interesting. So we can... Wait. Oh. Wait. What? Uh, maps don't help me with this. Okay. So that's actually something we can consult for clues. Oh. Cat girl again? Yep. Ada, how are you? Zara, I'm feeling good. Come check these videos of cute cats I found on the internet. Uh. <laughs> oh, and look at all the little, uh, she what would you call them, emojis? She is just the internet. She is, she's just the internet. And what was that with the fire-breathing cats? You know. Oh, I see. So they were actually watching videos during the da 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 They weren't just awkwardly standing there. But that face. You know. It's apart from being able to access all the internets from all worlds. Are you still working on that mission with the AI overlord that had taken over the networks of that high-tech Earth? Girl. That was like a week ago. Easy. There's no computer in any dimension that can withstand my skills. I'm positive about that. I might have kept a back door to Asimovia's networks, and I might be able to force, um, might be forcing them to watch cat videos every now and then. You're a tyrant, Ada. All cats are, Zara. You should know that. Touche. <laughs> Cat overlord. <laughs> okay. That's a surprisingly deep character for someone that is the just the internet. So, do we want to do Gootopia? Ooh, ooh. And do you know what I like? They're using the non-primary colors. I love it when it's green, orange, and purple. I like the fonts for these, too. They're not bad. Oh, oh, for the actual world. So, I guess we should probably go want... with Slimy Meyer first. So you just want to go in order of Well, see how it has present? one star, two star, three star? Two star, two star, three star? I guess we could go to Thunder Thunderdome. Which one do you want? Mm. So do you want to go to... I am indifferent, truly. To Robot Land? Or do you want to go to... Goo. Goo. Oh, what was the villain in the Goo World? What what was the person we don't know? Showed? There's there's no there one. There was no one associated with it. Not yet. Hmm. 
goo. Okay, goo. Only because goo is fun to say. Skip. I've arrived at Gootopia Swamps. Well, the Gootopia Swamps. The one time I don't say the before noun. All right, your mission here is to locate the source of the hostile gelatinous life forms that have invaded here. According to Dr. Freya, these creatures do not occur in nature. The source has to be here in the swamp. Hostile gelatinous life forms? So, evil blobs of goo? I like to call them gooblins. Ah. <sighs> The absorbing goo that Suspect X used to steal the Meta Catalyst came from this area as well. That can't be a coincidence. These goo monsters must be guarding something. Any other intel I should know? There are two abandoned outposts up ahead. They belong to Sphere, the scientific research branch of Rift. I'll head over there and look for clues. Moving out. Slimy oh. Fire. Find the origin of the Gooblins. Ooh. Or is that a gooblin? Yep, apparently so. And it is dead. And it gave you little gooblets. I'm gonna hop in here and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> um, it didn't kill you? Huh. And you don't have a a breathing bar of sor sorts? Nope. I am appropriately super human. Ah, and because it's gelatinous, you can actually use it to jump off and platform. Hmm. Hope we get some more combo attacks as we go along, like a ground slam, maybe, or something. Now, what do they have floating within them? Uh, a mushroom. Oh. Death so, to the slime. So the slime might be an extension of a fungus. Have you ever heard of, like, the fungal slime? Yeah. And how it... Oh, I got it. I don't know. I thought I've read somewhere about mushrooms being able to create slime that actually... I don't know if it contains their spores or allows them to spread, but... Hmm. Very interesting. They just straight up or uh, took the bash mechanic from uh, Or in the Blind Forest bash mechanic? Can you yeah. explain? Uh, bashing is... Uh, remember in Hollow Knight, there'd be like enemies and I could like fling myself off of them mm -hmm. and like launch myself in a direction? Ooh, you want that. Yeah. That's one of the upgradians? Yep. There's one. Upgradium just reminds me of Unobtonium, or Unobtainium. Yeah. Do you remember that from the Avatar movie? Eh. The James eh. Cameron Avatar movie. Eh. I punch this guy? Oh. I can just punch him. Entering a cave system connected to the outpost, Skip. I might lose reception. Copy that. Stay alert. The caves are dangerous. Yeah, so pretty basic platformer so far. Ooh. The environments look pretty nice. That... That goo seems to be held back by some kind of barrier. Or what? Ah, there you go. Ooh. Let it out. Cool. I don't play a whole lot of like traditional platformers anymore. Yikes, this green stuff looks deadly. So you don't go into the green goo. The oh. orange goo, however, is fine. Don't Don't punch the thing. Um I don't actually know which direction to go. I guess I might as well heal. And it's good reason. Hmm. Admittedly? Oh, you may have actually prevented yourself from being able to use that as a... No, I think we have to come back to that one. Like, I had to open up the, the entrance. And then we're going to have to, like, drop around and stuff. So, there's a set number of... Upgradiums per level. It seemed like yeah. it was what, ten or eleven? Yeah. Yeah, so you only have a certain amount of upgradium you can collect. And uh I assuming it's always in a fixed location. Mm-hmm. I Okay, I I can't do that. But so that's why we had to open the thing up, because it it would have just locked us off there. Unfortunately, I've got to just go around here. <laughs> because Chet brings up, you can probably just say Avatar, and most people are going to know you're not talking about 
uh, the last airbender. <laughs> Where there? Hmm. Looks like I can't get through this way. I've got to look around. Eh. I was hoping I'd be fast enough to actually get that one. Uh, like go straight up through the goo. I bet you could actually go fast enough for that. Sadly, wait. Oh, there was something hidden. What yep. is that? A portal? A portal. To... Is this a kind of special zone? Challenge area nice. of, of sorts. Uh... So, does this look like something where you need to clear out the other plant? Before you yeah. work to both. Make sure you get up. It's gonna yep. go over go. here. I need a double jump. This game stresses me out without one. We've become so accustomed to double jumps. It's odd when you find a game where there isn't one present. Unless it's something that you get later. Like an upgrade. It probably ability. is. It's it's probably a permanent upgrade I get for leveling up. Like, honestly, I'm not actually that bothered by it. This is a relatively easy platformer compared to... I, uh, well, I mean, honestly, everything compared to the White Palace and Hollow Knight is generally pretty easy. <laughs> the White Palace is... You've never seen me do that, I don't think. I think I've seen you do an amount of Hollow Knight. I checked it in on a video once or twice. You probably have never seen me do the White Palace, Oh, you're sinking though. into it. I know. Ah... Uh. The outpost is supposed to be this way, but the path looks blocked. Bam. Bam. I don't know why I'm opening both up. It doesn't look like it really does anything for me. Whoops. Now, it looks like there's a laboratory or something to the right, a kind of structure. Oh, this is probably just a, a shortcut out. Yeah, well, that's the outpost. <laughs> Wow. The heavy goo. attacks are actually appropriately heavy. The goo doesn't seem to be that dangerous. No. It's mostly just kind of here. And they don't this is a one-star area, and we're also... Sorry. Oh, they just also don't seem to resemble goblins. No. If Maybe. anything, they've got more of, like, a beak on them. Yeah, they do. Oh, more drips. Whoa. Ouch. I was trying to... Yeah, you need to fling yourself far enough to latch yeah, onto the well, next. Yeah, well, the angle matters. Whoops. Oh, and you went in the wrong direction. Oh, no. Great. Got it. Close enough. And, uh, no! Well, time to heal up. It's interesting. It's akin to web slinging, but not quite. Dang. It's those. Yeah, I'm, I'm not timing it very well. Yeah, time slows down just enough. Great. There we go. You got it. Got it. Let's go punch some slimes. I gotta get health back, and you're gonna give it to me. Now, how is she absorbing these? Just like osmosis, or do you think she just like walks up to glowing orange balls and is like, Pac-Man! Just like crams it in her face. Whoops. Whoops. Well, what did they say that that was? What kind of energy source is it? I don't know if they've said actually. Like, I don't know if they've stated explicitly what the energy is, apart from it just being an energy source. And have you gone to the left? Or... Yeah, that's where the, uh, that's where danger zone was. Okay. Uh... So we're really out of luck? Yeah, no, we gotta go somewhere else. Or maybe down? Maybe down. 
Oh uh, yeah. Yep, ah, here we are. There's a doorway. Aha! The sphere outpost. More goo. Slime. Goo. Oh, there's goo everywhere. Skip, do you read me? I'm in the first sphere outpost. No goblins here, just some pink substance that I haven't seen before. I'm sending you my data comms readings of the goo. Can you let me know what it is? I'll run it through our database. It appears to be Zelansky Uzine. That's a mouth mouthful. If enough of that substance comes into contact with organic matter, it can temporarily reduce its size. Be careful. Hmm, so it can shrink stuff. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's, sprout. It's, it's for, yep. It's for sprout. I guess I'll put it into a can and bring it back to HQ. It might not be able related to the case, blah, but someone might find it useful. You got the shrinking goo. Goo. 